Hi YouTube, this is uh, Pam Withers. Um, I've had this um, kit sat on the bench for a while. It's quite an old, uh, it's an Oakville kit. Um, and it's a little like dock tank engine. Um, I think it says on there is a GWR dock tank. So, I bought this, uh, it's uh, our favourite uh, eBay site, and uh, it was uh, partially made, so some of the hard work, to be honest, has been done, but uh, I thought we would uh, see if we can get this finished off, and I'm just sorting out all the uh, white metal bits, there's the uh, controls for inside the cab, and uh, some buffers to go on. Um, they, for some reason, they'd fitted uh, these buffers on it, but they don't really. Uh, they aren't complete, so I'm going to have to drill those out and then see if we can fit uh, fit those. But I'm just uh, sorting through all the uh, bits, and we're nigh on complete. I think the only thing that was missing is all the brake gear. But I thought I would just do a little. Uh, Little video showing all the pieces, and uh, like I say, this is going to perhaps keep me busy for the next uh, week or so. It's just something I fancied having a play with, um, something that might go into future plans next year. But uh, like I say, I thought I'd just show you all the bits, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, start putting it together and uh, give you a little look as we're going through. Anyway. We'll see you in a moment. Well, we got uh, a little bit more detail done on it now. Um, but the old uh, dart there on the front, got the chimneys and the dome, and a little bit of the detail done on top. Um, I've done the back ones, I've cut these buffers off and uh, soldered these uh, buffers on. Uh, and that bit done. Um, done the uh, little bit of uh, the boiler through the controls a couple more dials to go up here on that bit and some springs going on the floor but I'll just give you a quick look at that so far and we'll uh, come back to it in a minute well here we are got um, all the bits on now um, so we'll have a quick look before I put uh, start uh, painting it up but went together quite well probably taking about four or five hours to do all the finishing touches on it um, really now got to spray it up and then just really bit the boiler into the cab and there's a couple of little bits that I'll put on once it's all finished but they need to be painted up separately so hopefully we'll come back soon and see it with a nice coat of green on it Hi everyone, um, just finished off the uh, O-gauge pannier tank, um, just literally done the, well, put on the uh, transfers here, GWR transfers, I got those from, and they came on a little sheet, they came from Fox transfers, a little bit fiddly to put on, but uh, not too bad, um, put the little number plate on here, and I numbered it 3709 and that was actually a pannier tank that ran down here on the uh, Truro de Falmouth branch and was used as a, I think a general shunter in the Truro yard obviously before I was born but I thought it would be nice to name it from something local the uh, plate got two different sizes of plate I used the uh, obviously the larger plate and there's the numbers that I cut out and what I did I actually painted the uh, background with black paint and then stuck the numbers onto the black paint which was just tacky enough to hold that in place and then the next day I actually had varnish and like flood coated it and that's held that in place and then super glued it on but uh, like I say it's turned out turned out really well quite pleased with the appearance um, quite good detail it's quite an old kit I think it was probably about uh, 
I think I've seen a date on one of the plates of 1989. So obviously it's not perhaps so highly detailed as what you might get now, but uh, for you know a first little model, I'll just whip the roof off for a minute. Uh, I thought yeah, there's quite good detail inside, but yeah, really, really enjoyed putting that together. Um, all I need to do now is uh, get a little bit of track, um, and then we'll hopefully I've got a brass wagon kit to do. Hopefully, give it a little bit of a run and see what it looks like running. So, well, just to give you an idea of size, here's the uh, that's the OO gauge pannier tank, and I was digging around in uh, an old box the other day, and I found. An N gauge pannier tank, so like I say, just give you an idea of uh, the different gauges. Uh, but now, really pleased they was turned out. Um, but I think we'll leave you to it now. Thanks for uh, watching, and uh, obviously comments appreciated, and subscribe if you wish. As I say, bye for now.